Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the various attachment options that you have with the Outlook.com uh, webmail client. So this is pretty much Outlook for the web. Uh, so we have an Outlook client here, it kind of looks like a regular Outlook client that you'd have on your computer. So when you do a new message, you have your attach options here and you have three methods here. So the first one is your typical method, which you're probably most used to using. That's browse this computer. Click on that, you know, find the file you want and attach it and send it off. So that's actually sending an actual copy of that file to your recipients. So, you know, this gets kind of messy, as you might know, or if you're sending files back and forth and different versions and trying to keep track of which is the same or actually which is the most up to date file since they all have the same name. So, you know, but if that's the way that works best for you, then, you know, use that method. So our next method here is browse cloud locations. So if you do that, you could attach a file from your OneDrive account. So I don't have anything here. If I go to files, I could attach, you know, this file if I want. And then I could attach as a copy like we just had, or I can make a link for it. And then there we have. So that way, this is a shared file on my OneDrive account. And then if I click here, I can manage the access to it or I could um, copy a link to it that I could then just, you know, send that link instead of this actual attachment type thing here or download it to my local computer, preview it and so on. And the final method is the upload and share. So this works the same way. So let's say first it's going to upload the file. And then if you don't have any default folder, you're going to get that message. So I'm going to pick change location and I'm going to put it in this meeting notes folder here. And so that did the same thing as we saw before, except this time it's instead of pulling it from your OneDrive account as a shared attachment, you're actually uploading it from your local computer as a shared attachment. So, so it's different. So the first, this method here, actually, sorry. Yeah, this method here shared from my OneDrive account and made a shared attachment. And this method here uploaded from my local computer and made a shared attachment. So it worked the same way. It's going to be the same file access the same way. It's just this one, the source is your OneDrive and this one, the source is your local computer. So that's the main difference here. So once I have this shared attachment here, you'll see it puts a little cloud icon by it that shows you that as a shared attachment. And then you have the same things here where you could change the access um, level or preview it and attach as the actual physical copy if you want, download it and so on. So, you know, pretty simple, you know, it's nice to have these options. I'll go over them real quickly one more time, browse this computer, this will attach the physical file from your local computer, then they will have that physical file. And then once they make changes to it, you're not going to have those changes unless they send it back to you. And then you'll have to update your file and so on. And then I could kind of messy the browse cloud locations. That'll take a file that you have on your shared OneDrive folder, or, you know, if you want to attach a different shared uh, online service, you could do that too. And then they'll share that file as a shared attachment, you know, which means like your normal kind of sharing where you'll be able to work on it. Other people will be able to work on it for collaboration. Then you'll be able to see each other's changes and so on. And then the final one, upload and share. You're uploading a file from your actual hard drive on your computer into your OneDrive and then sharing it. So like I said, these two kind of work the same. It's just the source of the original file is what makes them different. This one's already in your OneDrive. This one comes from your computer. So yeah, once you kind of get that, the hang of it and, you know, kind of get just of what is what is pretty simple to use. And then you could decide uh, which is the best way for you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.